Hey everyone, it's Priscilla. So today I'm going to be doing a vlog and I'm going to the Ariana Grande concert and I just did my hair. I took a shower. I took a shower. I did my hair and then I took a shower. So yeah, I put one like, I don't know if you can see right there, but it's like a shower cap. So yeah, so I did my hair first and now I'm going to be doing my makeup and I'm super excited. That's so I'm gonna be doing my makeup now, so I'll see you guys when I'm done. Hey guys, so first thing I'm doing is my brows, and I'm using Anastasia Dip Brow, but first I'm going to be brushing them out with the Spoolie by e.l.f. So then, yeah, and I'm just gonna be filling them in my brows. If you want like an in-depth tutorial on how I do my brows, I'll be happy to do that. Just leave that in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. I'm dancing, lol. I just had to live this in the video because this is literally what I do while I'm getting ready. <laughs> So I'm using this Clinique Moisturizer, which is water-based, and it doesn't clog your pores, so that's really good. And my brother looks so disgusted when he came into my room. So I'm using this flat brush and this Maybelline concealer to conceal the bottom of my brows and to clean them up. Because it's just so much nicer when you clean up your brows with concealer. I can't even tell you how much I love it. So then I'm just dragging the product down and using it as an eyeshadow base. And with the Mario Badescu spray and my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to be blending out my concealer. And I find this technique really nice and I love it so much. I've been doing it for so long. So using the scotch tape, it prevents my eyeshadow from slipping. So I like to use this technique. And then using the Ben Nye Banana Powder, I'm just setting my eyes where I put the concealer. So it's matte and it's nice and ready for the eyeshadow, which I'm using the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm using mostly the neutral colors and taking product little by little so I fully blend it out. And it doesn't look too chalky or streaky or, you know, everything bad. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just blending it out with like wind wiper motions. Wind wiper? Windshield wiper? I don't know how you say it. But I dropped my Morphe palette. Thank God it was saved, but um, now I'm using the Anastasia brush, and I'm using this um, Anastasia palette, using that like coffee brown color. I'm going to be um, deepening up the crease, my outer V, and using like a halo eye effect, and I'm going to be putting some concealer in the middle of my lid to prep for the glitter I'm going to be applying which is also going to be from the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette. It's like that gold shade. So I'm just gonna be packing that on and then taking the brown shade, I'm going to be repairing the harsh lines. And then um, using like the scotch tape as like a, a stencil, I'm going to be like using that to help me make my wing very sharp and on fleek. So, yeah, and I'm just using this eyeliner that I got for Christmas from my aunt. It's really good. It's waterproof, and I think she got it from Wish.com. So, yeah. Then I'm taking that brown shade again and dragging it on my lower lash line to connect the two shades so it doesn't look weird. And then taking the e.l.f. face primer, I'm just going to be prim priming my face for the foundation, which is the Dewy and Smooth by Maybelline in the shade 220. Just blending that all out with my beauty blender and then the Lorac Perfecting Powder. I'm going to be setting my face all with that powder and this Kabuki brush that I love. Then I'm using the Morphe Bronzing Palette and I'm just going to be contouring with that. And the brush I'm using is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I love this brush so much. I've had it forever and I love it. It's the best brush to contour with in my opinion. So then I'm also contouring my forehead and also my jawline and with the lighter shade I'm going to be doing my nose and I love to contour my nose I think it's so it looks really nice when it's all blended and I'm just making sure to blend every single part so it doesn't look too harsh and so taking this Marilyn Monroe MAC blush and this flawless face brush by um Bare Minerals. I'm just going to be applying that on the apples of my cheeks. And then this Becca Duo in Opal. I'm going to be putting the cream first on the high points of my cheeks, my nose, and my Cupid's bow. And I'm just going to be blending that out with my finger. It works better when you, like, 
blend it out with your finger and then I'm going to be spraying my highlight brush and with the powder I'm just going to be applying it on all the points I put with the cream so it looks super good like look at that glow guys wow so I'm just putting that on the rest of my face then I'm going to be curling my lashes and using a great lash by Maybelline so I'm just putting the mascara on my eyelashes and then using my MAC Ariana Grande Viva Glam lip gloss I'm just applying that and if you guys can get your hands on it it's an addition but if you guys can get your hands on it I highly recommend it it's one of my favorite lip glosses and that concludes my makeup for the Ariana Grande concert thanks guys okay guys so this is the final look if you guys want a like in-depth tutorial on how I did this let me know in the comment section down below but this is like what everything's looking like I put the products in my video I just kind of sped it up and made it shorter so if you want like an in-depth tutorial on how to do this I look let me know in the comments down below and I'll do it for you guys but now I need to get ready and get dressed so I'll talk to you guys soon bye Grande concert vlog but I just noticed I didn't really vlog that much so I don't know whether to call it like a get ready with me or a vlog but I I just didn't want to add so much concert in it because I don't know if you guys are going to go to her concert so I just decided to put the um, dangerous woman song that she performed and um, how I got ready for the concert so yeah, so it's kind of like a couple weeks after and I'm just editing the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as I said before, if you guys liked the um, makeup tutorial, I'll be happy to do a more in-depth. I kind of like explained everything. I just didn't really go into the products and like stuff. So I like listed them, but I didn't really say much about them. So if you guys want to know more about the products and like how I did everything like in depth let me know and I'll do that for you guys but for now thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys later bye